Hey guys, this is Ankit and welcome to the Docker Tasks series. We are doing a list of basic tasks to get ourselves familiar with Docker. We are following the Docker documentation for our reference. You can always visit the repository tcloudterminal01 slash learn hyphen devops to get more details. For today's task, we'll be spending around four to six minutes. So let's begin. These are the high level objectives for our task. We will start a Ubuntu container with bash. We will make some changes inside the container, commit the container state to a new image. Then we will start a new container with our new image and validate our changes. We will add an environment variable using hyphen hyphen change option in docker commit command and repeat the validation process. Let's start with our first subtask. We will start a Ubuntu container with bash. I'm going to use Ubuntu latest image. Now we are inside the container. Let's go to slash home. There are no files present. I'm going to create a new file. with these contents. Let's move to terminal session T2. So our container is already running. We will commit the container state to a new image. Let's name this as my Ubuntu colon v1. And our image is saved. Let's go back to session t1 and exit from this container. Now we'll see that there are no longer any containers running. Let's start a new container using my new image version. So this time I will use my Ubuntu version v1. And if I go to slash home, I see the same file that was created before. So now let's go back to session T2 and we'll see that our container is running. Let's inspect the container and see the environment variables. We have to give the right container ID, which is this one in this case. So now let's add our own environment variable which will be env debug to true to this container i'll copy the container id over here and let's name this as my ubuntu v2 And our new image is saved. Let's move back to terminal session T1 and let's exit from this container. And if we run docker ps a we should no longer see any containers running. Now let's exec into Ubuntu container again, but with this time we will use version v2. And if we go to slash home, we should still see the file.txt. But along with this, we should be able to see the env that we created that is debug. The same information can again be obtained using the docker inspect command. So if we go to terminal session t2 and run ps hyphen a and again inspect our current container we should see the same result so this completes all of our subtasks hope you learned something from the video 
if you have any disagreements or any suggestions let me know in the comments that's all for today see you in the next video